inopportune time. Throughout the world, men are fighting to be free from the fear of political trials and concentration camps. From this struggle, men are hoping that a Bill of Rights will emerge which will guarantee to all men certain fundamental rights. Most Americans, lawyers and laymen alike, before the decision in Betts versus Brady, would have thought that the right of the accused to counsel in a serious criminal case was unquestionably a part of our own Bill of Rights. For in a free world, no man should be condemned to penal servitude for years without having the right to counsel to defend him. The right of counsel for the poor as well as for the rich is an indispensable safeguard of freedom and justice under law. Dean Pound has said the law must be stable and yet it must not stand still. I think Betts versus Brady was wrong when it was decided. I think time has made that clear. And I think now time has made it possible for the correct rule, the civilized rule, the rule of American constitutionalism, the rule of due process to be stated by this court. Clarence? There's a telephone call for you from Mr. Fortis. In my office. put through that call now. Mr. Fortas, sir, this is Clarence Earl Gideon. Well, sir, uh, it's just wonderful. <laughs> I congratulate you, sir. You're a very brilliant man. Can you tell me what the vote was? That makes me feel very good. That really does. Mr. Fortasir, did they say I have to stand trial again? I don't understand that. Wouldn't that be double jeopardy? Seems to me it would be. Two trials for the same offense. Uh, let me understand it better after I get your letter, but I still don't think it's fair. Another thing, sir, can I ask you what happens to the other men here who didn't have lawyers? I think I understand. It depends on circumstances. Can I just ask you about this one friend? Been here 23 years. There's only one witness against him. That witness is dead now. Another thing, he can't read. Well, sir, I, I thank you so much. 
I hope I get to meet you someday. I, I thank you so much. Th th thank you. You're going to get out. That's what my lawyer said. Me, I got to stand trial again. I don't know why they didn't double jeopardy. I don't know why. Well, I have to say, I didn't think there was a snowball's chance in hell. What was the boot? Nine to nothing. Unanimous. Isn't that something? What did he say happens to the rest of the boys? He says it's too early to tell. Some will be retried like me, lawyers. Others may just get out like artists. Depends. At least nobody's going to go on trial in this country ever again without a lawyer. That's what he said. experienced criminal lawyer. I'm with the American Civil Liberties Union, and I want to congratulate you. Your determination and courage are an inspiration to all of us. Now, um, Abe Fortas has written to me that you hoped that the ACLU would provide you with a lawyer for your new trial. It shouldn't be a retrial. I should never stand trial again. The Fifth Amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America says, nor shall any person be subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb. It's double jeopardy. Mr. Gideon, a new trial won by a prisoner as a result of his own appeal is not considered double jeopardy under American law. I don't need any lawyer to tell me what rights I don't have. Where's the trial supposed to be? In Panama City. No, sir. I can't get a fair trial in Panama City. They convicted me once, they'll do it again. Mr. Block and I will do everything in our power to see that that doesn't happen again. Oh, no, sir. You the same judge? Probably. That's supposed to be a fair trial. I'm sorry, but... I'm afraid we don't have any choice in the matter. I note that Mr. Tobias Simon has signed some papers and has appeared in his defense counsel. No, he's not. Your Honor, may we approach the bench? Yes, you may. I didn't authorize Mr. Simon to sign anything for me. Do my own signing. I, I don't want him to represent me. Do you want another lawyer to represent you? No, and I'm not ready for trial. What do you want? I want to file for an order to move my case from this court. I can get a fair trial in this court. Same court, same judge, everybody, everything. I can't get a fair trial here. 
You excuse me, Your Honor. Your Honor, of course, 